Thank you to Leopard Catamarans for sponsoring this video. Over the last year, we've sailed over 5,000 nautical miles on our sailing catamaran, which is a few years old now. Some days, we're on top of the world. Other days, well, this is so scary. Oh. They're a challenge, but we wouldn't trade this lifestyle for anything. So when we got the opportunity to sell this brand new Leopard 42, we couldn't say no. This beautiful vessel is going to be our home for the next few days while we sail her up to the Annapolis Boat Show, where she'll hopefully meet her new owners. Yes, this boat indeed is for sale. Earlier, we met up with the Leopard team and got a full walkthrough of the boat. We're ready to hit the sea. After moving on board and going through all our safety checks, on the horn, we were ready to cast off the line. Leopard 42 radio check, radio check. We've got a little bit of a leopard flotilla, if you will, right now as we leave the docks. It's pretty cool. The 45, the 50, and us on the 42 all going out the channel at the same time, headed for Annapolis. This is gonna be a heck of a trip. We're so stoked right now. We have made it to Brunswick, Georgia after a couple days of motoring, mainly, unfortunately, because the wind has not been in our favor. But this is just uh, really the first stop in the leg of our trip, and it was really important for us to be on the boat for a few days and really learn and get to know this new boat so we could give you a proper boat tour of what this boat really looks like and the features we've really come to know and love over the last couple of days. So Cole's gonna give you a walkthrough of the boat, and then we're gonna get off the dock, and I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of the inside. We're probably gonna spend a lot of time comparing this brand new Leopard 42 to the features of our boat, simply because that's what we know. And obviously, this brand new Leopard 42 is the newest version of our boat, which is its seven-year-old elder sister. Wait, does that make sense? I think so. She has a length overall of 41 foot seven inches and a beam of 23 feet. She has a height of 67 feet 10 inches and she drafts just over four feet. Other than the fact that the outside of this boat is absolutely beautiful with all of the massive windows, the long windows along the inside, the big thing that I recognize when walking up to her is just how much higher she sits up off the water. The freeboard of this boat is definitely much larger than that of our 44. Before we go anywhere else in the boat, we're gonna start here at the helm because this is probably the most important part of the boat. One of the things that I absolutely love about this Leopard 42 is the location of all the rigging. This boat 100% can be safe sailed um, and maneuvered by a single person or single-handed, uh, which is unfortunately something we ha would struggle on our 44 to do. It really takes two people to operate that boat. Uh, but you do have the both electric winches here, as well as one manual winch. Greg's gonna talk a little bit more about the rigging here in just a minute. But one of the things that I will say is a drawback to this helm is the space. On ours, we have a little bit more space and allows someone to walk across um, to and from with it not being in the way of the captain. Unfortunately, this boat is a little bit tighter here, um, so I would have liked to have seen a little bit more space, but I will tell you that it still is that split helm, which I absolutely love because it does allow you to talk to the people down below, see 360 degrees around the boat. And then of course, on this brand new 42, you also have the deck lounge up here where you can talk to all of your crew as well. So this location of the helm, it, for me, just works. I, I absolutely love it. Rigging. A little bit of experience that I do have, I know that being able to get your rigging quickly is important. And one of the things they did really well on this boat is you see this little piece right here. Uh, your rigging for your reefs is all single lines. You can do it all from the helm. You pull your first reef line, it's detached here. You don't have to come to the mast and hook up the hook. Uh, so you create a new tack. It's done from this little hook there back to the back makes it quick and easy. One of my favorite things about the boat is how much storage there is, not only on the inside, but also, and for me, more importantly, on the outside. One of those is on both peaks, uh, you actually have this storage compartment, and there's a good amount of space in here for extra toys, tools, sails, you name it. And to give you perspective of how much space is in the forward peaks, let me just show you. What you doing down there? I'm giving you perspective. <laughs> All right, so there's two more hatches I want to show you guys. This is the largest of the of the two here. It's going to house the generator. To give you some perspective of that, let me turn the camera around. 
Look how big this compartment is. I'm gonna go ahead and step down here and show you. Not only is this compartment large enough for you to put all kinds of things in here, goodies, but it's really, really simple to get to the generator and work on the generator. We have two fenders in here right now next to the generator, um, but this is the 6KW Northern Lights generator, exact same generator that we have on our boat. Of course, with all Leopards, you have the four door, which we absolutely love. Uh, but unfortunately, with the new boat on the 42, you do lose the seating area that's here. Uh, you gain, obviously, the storage, but you also gain the seating area up top, which I will say is probably a little bit better than here even. That, that's a great point of view. In doing that, you do have your anchor locker, which is typical, uh, but you also have one more storage compartment here. Remember how I said I'm a big boy? Well. Oh my goodness, look at that! I'm a big boy, and this is great storage. And then, of course, my favorite part of the outside of this boat is 100% this upper deck and lounge. Come on up. You know, this upper deck and lounge has become a popular thing for the cruising catamarans. Uh, but I can tell you with confidence that Leopard is the only one that's done it right because the seating here and the height of it is 100% spot on. Like it could not be any more comfortable. And we have actually found ourselves in even decent weather or bad seas, enjoying this lounge while underway. In my opinion, this is the most comfortable spot on the boat. Take it from someone who uh, gets seasick in bad seas. <laughs> I have come up here to sit because I like the wind on my face. I like the height. I don't like to hear the, the flexing and the popping and the creaking sounds that you get um, inside when you're underway. So this for me is a really comfortable spot, even in rough seas. And it's great because you get to see, you look out if you are feeling sick and see that horizon yeah. and just kind of try and take your mind off of what all the movement. How could you be on a catamaran and not love the space that it offers in the back, the back table, which is where we end up eating dinner most of the time. And the great thing about this is all of the storage underneath these benches, all the way around, great storage. You do have your propane, your life raft there, um, and it's super comfortable. I just love it. Before we leave and get back on our way, we're gonna hop over to the fuel dock. We're gonna get fuel, we're gonna get water, we're gonna do a quick pump out, and I have someone really special I want you to meet. Tom and Cheryl, they are our patrons. If you've been following along for a while, you'll know they helped us one during hurricane season when we didn't know what the heck we were doing. <laughs> you guys did fine. <laughs> and then we featured them in our last video while we were at the dock in Bradenton. And it's just so good to see you guys again. Yes, we're, we're glad we got to Oh, this is so fun. I wish we could stay longer. Yeah, that'd Truly. be nice. Next time, next time. <laughs> but there's Bahamas. Right, there's Bahamas. So just wanted to introduce them again. This is kind of like becoming an unofficial, official unofficial patron meetup. Super secret. Whatever that is. Super yeah. secret. Super secret. <laughs> we just need to get everybody in Brunswick and then it'll be a party. So, cool. As we're about to get off the dock, I'm filling up the water tanks. And one of the features I love about the newer model Leopards is they do have the water fill on the deck. Unfortunately, with ours, we have to get into the storage compartment and fill up each of the two tanks individually, uh, which is just a little bit of a pain, but how many um, times have we overflowed it? <laughs> yeah, we've we've overfilled it a few times, and then you get all the water into the storage compartment. It's you not fun. Take everything out. <laughs> Let it dry. It's just not not always great. So this is really nice to see. A little twist, yep.
the dock and now we are making our way up to the mouth of the Brunswick Channel. So I'm going to give you a quick run through of the boat, show you the inside, show you what we love. Unfortunately, we're going to have to close it all up once we get out of this channel because we are expecting it, expecting it to get a bit rough. But the first thing I absolutely love, and this is very similar to past models of Leopards, is this sliding door here. This actually slides, so the door frame is here, it slides all the way open, which is really, really nice and it allows for breeze to just flow so beautifully throughout the whole boat. The first thing you'll notice as we make our way into the galley and salon is just the open concept plan here. It's just perfect for cooking and hosting and hanging out all at the same time. This couch here in the salon is just so comfortable. And what we really love, and we've used this once already, this table easily folds down to make um, a bed or extended couch area, which is really super comfortable when you're underway or hanging out at night watching movies in the Bahamas. That sounds like a lot of fun. Leopard is known for their forward facing door. Just the breeze that comes through here at all times. When you're on anchor, you're obviously always pointed into the wind, so you always have that nice cross breeze coming in. And we just can't emphasize enough how amazing that is when you are in places like the Bahamas in the middle of summer and it is burning hot outside. So absolutely love this feature. And if for any reason you do need to walk to the, the bow of the boat while you're underway, this is a really nice safety feature so you're not walking on either sides of the boat and just allows for more safety. The forward facing nav station on this desk is really, really nice. I can see myself doing a lot of editing here. I do really like that the salon and the nav station faces forward so you're not riding backwards and working backwards. And also what's really, really great, there's a remote control feature here so you can remote remote control your autopilot while you're inside, which we have done a few times, and we really, really love that feature. But for anyone who is buying this boat, I would actually recommend putting in um, another GPS chart plotter system here. Being able to control everything right here from your nav station inside, I think would just be essential. It's something that we don't have that I think would be really great to have on board. Much like other versions of the Leopard boats, you have a three burner propane stove here and a propane oven, which we actually removed from our boat because we needed the storage. But I don't think I would recommend doing that on this boat because there is so much storage throughout the boat. I mean, truly, the way they have taken the 42, which is smaller than our boat, the 44, and just amplified the storage, I'm truly impressed by it. And one of the ways they've done that is by taking the galley and flipping it. So here in the galley, I would be standing in the salon on our boat, so it's flipped, which is really, really nice. I absolutely love this sink here, which I would be spending a lot of time in the sink, which I would be spending a lot of time in the sink because Cole does the cooking, I do the cleaning. You have your uh, secondary water filter here for water and then your dish storage rack so your dishes can dry and be out of the way all at the same time. This boat does come with the standard fridge freezer combo, but what is really nice, it has the upgraded package with the ice maker and another fridge outside for cold drinks. I guess it's time for some tea. There you go. I really, really love this window here in the top of the salon. I'm gonna call it a skylight, if you will. The great feature about it is when it's opened up and you're under sale, you can actually look up and see everything with your sales. So you can check and make sure everything is, you know, flowing properly and your lines are all in the right spot. Nothing's caught with your battens or anything like that. And it also provides for more great natural light, which we all love, especially in small spaces. Welcome to the master suite. This is the owner's version where we have been staying the last couple of nights. When we were looking for boats, the owner's version was a deal breaker for us. We had to have it. We wanted to have that extra ample space, which I truly recommend if you're gonna be doing anything more than weekend cruising, like we're talking about long-term on a boat, you really wanna have that extra space and not feel like you're living in a small box. And this here, does that for you. And I know we've talked about the space a couple times already, but there's so much space down in this hole. We're talking storage space. We're talking under the bed, in the floors. I'm very, very happy with it. I love the ample window space here down in the owner's hole. And I can just imagine like picture frames here, all the plants. 
I, I just love how they're kind of in this space right here to where if you are underway, they're not gonna roll off into the floor. Uh, highly recommend using museum putty. It works perfect. We put uh, that under our plants and picture frames and things like that so they don't slide around when you're underway because sometimes there's just no helping it. But I just love how this space here can be used for, for nice decor. Welcome to the bedroom and our blue comforter. Obviously, we are lacking on the decor right now. But for the purpose of this video, I wanna talk about this area. So what's really cool about this area here is that it's cut out so nicely so you don't feel like you're crawling into a box when you go to bed. On our boat, we have a bulkhead that goes out to about here, which allows us to have a TV on the inside, which is really nice, but it's even better that this space is all open up. Of course, you've got your windows here, like I just mentioned. You can put all the plants in the world here in the windows. Well, what's really cool is this spot right here. I could see these bars being removed and you put a TV on hinges like what we have upstairs and it swing out when you're in the bed and you can watch TV from your bed. I think that would be really, really nice. And then use this spot here for your traditional books or charts or anything your heart desires. Right here is the desk space or vanity space because they've added an, a mirror in here, which I think is a nice little touch. But for us on our boat and even here, like we use it as kind of a, a gear storage space. What I don't care for is that there's a hatch right above this desk. So if it were me, I would probably not store stuff in here long term because if your hatch ever does leak, because let's be honest, eventually, you know, depending on the age of the boat, those things will leak. Um, love all the windows, but don't love the placement of this right over here. As we make our way into the bathroom, you'll notice how absolutely spacious it is. Truly incredible. Love this open basin sink with the bigger countertop. And then of course, the shower space. I mean, look how big it is. This is awesome. Truly love this shower. So I gotta address the elephant in the room, the big splendid washer dryer combo. We've used this a couple times already. Absolutely love it. When we moved on board, we actually didn't expect to ever use our washer and dryer. We said, oh, it's so small, we'll never use that thing. Definitely the most underrated thing on our boat. So I'm really happy to see that this comes equipped with a washer dryer and Splendid has obviously uh, grown with the times too. This washer is bigger than ours. It has more settings and just all around a much better washer. Now that we're talking, you know, seven years, fast forward, the age of our boat, um, love it. It gets your clothes really, really, really hot by steam when they're drying. So, so hot that I almost burned myself. Really happy with this. One thing I would love to see though is cabinet doors on it. And I'm not sure that could be done because how far this sticks out. Um, I personally would just love to have it covered up to make it look a little more nice and sleek, but love the washer dryer on board. So as you guys know, we have our patrons, Jen and Greg on board and you've actually been staying on the porthole. So I'm gonna let Jen take it away and tell you all the things she loves about the port side. So we are primarily back here in the aft port cabin. The bed down here is massive. Um, Greg and I can each have a side. We don't even have to touch each other if we don't want to. It is so big. Um, it is, the mattress leaves a little bit to be desired. It's uh, a little bit hard, but honestly, if you're tired enough, you don't care. You will sleep and it will be just fine. They've got great shelves along either side so we can set um, whatever it is that you want. Charging is back in the corner, really convenient. We've got these excellent blinds that we can raise or lower, even some airflow if we really want with a porthole here. That also raises up and we can see off the, the back and it's um, really bright with the hatch up above. We've got great airflow and it's um, it's not dark, which is awesome. So the aft uh, head here is actually pretty nice. We have a automated macerating toilet. We've got the shower, which is separate. There is a medicine cabinet, dedicated cabinet space under the sink and a spot for the, the waste basket. There is a nice opening port here that you can bring some breeze in if you want and the hatch overhead. So it's actually a pretty nice head. Port forward has kind of been storage for us, but it's actually a really nice cabin. And I 
think for either a couple or even a single person, this would be a really great spot to be. Um, it also has great natural light, hatch up above, windows to the side, lots of shelves, and a really nice hanging locker in this particular cabinet. Um, that we did not have in the aft one. Also, both of the beds, both forward and aft, have got some really great drawer space underneath. So you can store your clothes, your shoes, anything under here. Um, it's been really handy, and it's surprisingly a lot of storage. Coming up tomorrow, the race against time continues as we're battling the wind and waves to get this boat to Annapolis. Plus, we're giving you a sneak peek into the 2023 Annapolis Sailboat Show.